Sorry, these are so weird. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Anna Sitar, and this is Hot Girl Travel Tips. Let's go. This is my carry-on because I am a carry-on queen, but it's not the one that fits under the seat in front of me. That one's much cuter, thankfully. This is my favorite bag. It's from the brand Dagna Dover because of the color. And honestly, it's my everywhere go-to bag, whether it's the gym, whether it's travel, whether it's errands, it fits a lot. This is the exciting part. We're gonna start simple, because I am an iPad kid. I carry an iPad on me. You never know what you'll find in it. Most of the time I'm drawing on my flights. I take all my notes from an iPad. Like I literally do calligraphy on it. That gets me through a lot of flights, you'd be surprised. I love good notes. I like take notes and plan my weeks on that. The calendar app comes in handy. Pro creates what I draw on. We'll go with the first beauty product, beauty-ish product, deodorant. We can't be smelly on flights. I feel like that's my biggest fear that I'm going to smell. Like if I'm sitting next to somebody, I want them to think I'm put together and clean and nice. I'm afraid of forgetting it. I don't want to risk that. And this is like one of those nice natural deodorants. We keep it on me. This small pouch. The secret to inside of this bag is that there's a lot of smaller bags. So they say one carry-on. There's really like seven in here. This one is super valuable because it's skincare. Just in case I'm on an overnight flight and I need to use that tiny little cubicle bed restroom, I'm ready. I have the Summer Fridays face wash with a baby Summer Fridays moisturizer and a beautiful rose face oil. I do my skincare religiously, so I always, if I'm sleeping on a flight or if there's like a chance for a nap, I will do my skincare before. I usually travel with no makeup, so it makes it a little bit easier so I don't have to wash anything off, but I just wanna make sure the skin stays glowing, stays refreshed, and you can't skip a skincare routine. I'm gonna dive into another tech item, a film camera. I love film, I love photography, and I think film cameras are really fun. This is a little vintage one that I got at a camera shop by my parents' house, it's a Minolta, and it's my first one that has an auto setting, so I don't have to do a lot to take a photo, but I just love getting them developed after a trip, and you never know if there's a good photo op in an airport, and I normally can't really pack it because I don't want to break it. I'm sorry, I'll have that photo of you guys forever. <laughs> okay, on to the next. Even though I carry an iPad, I also carry a book. And then I am on the Colleen Hoover kick. I think a lot of us are right now. On a long flight, I think the biggest issue is I will read the whole book. And I've done that a couple times where I just start and I get lost in it and then four hours goes by and suddenly I'm in a different state and I have finished the novel. The worst part is that then I don't have the book for the rest of the trip. My favorite part of this is actually the little kitten bookmark because it's a kitten reading a book crying. And I feel like that's me when I read books. So it's like symbolism. Yeah, these are great. They're good for music and tuning out the world, and they also match the bag. And I can't hear anything with them on. It's fantastic. They're really good for sleeping, too. Am I okay to take them off? Okay, good. Yeah. I always forget to save my playlists before I get on planes. I do have a couple, like, my like playlists, so normally I'll have the same songs playing over and over again if I forget to save it. My music choice is so random. I feel like I love Doja Cat. I love Mimi Webb recently. I've been, like, bopping her music. We all love Harry Styles. I love Billie Eilish. I feel like she puts me in a mood. The one downfall is they don't plug in to the video screens. But honestly, I don't know why. I haven't watched movies on a flight in a long time. I end up entertaining myself because I'm the person you don't want to sit next to on the flight. I will ask questions when we're sitting together. I will know your life story and your childhood trauma by the time we take off. They're more of like my buffer for when people don't want to have a conversation and I love it. But I mean you get to meet such cool people in the airport. It's so worth it. Ask somebody a question next time. Just even like where are you from or like are you going to where we're flying to or are you from where we're flying to. You'll learn a lot. It's great. It's another hot girl travel tip. I've like sat next to people who were writers for car magazines. I've sat next to girls' moms and we found out that their daughter was like a fan of my content, which is the coolest stories because someone will FaceTime the daughter when we land and the daughter's like, you sat next to her? Like they think their mom's the coolest person and I feel cool for making the mom cool. I've met like directors on flights, which is really cool and like heard about their TV shows and I hold those interactions near and dear. You meet really cool people on flights. You never know who you're gonna meet on a flight. This is my one little mini fancy thing. This holds my passport. But I got this little pouch at the Louis Vuitton Paris Fashion Week show. This is what my invite for the Fashion Week came in. I actually might still have the invite inside of it, but it also turned out being the perfect passport holder. So I carry that on me. The only other thing I have in here is my international driving permit. You cannot see this photo. <sighs> yeah, no, can't see that. I feel like my parents always tell me that people steal passports. <laughs> they instilled that fear in me. So I keep it incognito. You don't know what this is. This could be a letter from my grandma. Can't tell me it's not. Now I always get asked why I don't have any like hair care things. It's cause all I need is this one. This is a leave-in conditioner from K18. It's like a hair mask. It doesn't matter what shampoo I use. I'll use whatever's at the hotel. You put in this and your hair is healed. I swear by it. I've showered in airports. Don't ask me how. This gets you through. This is the secret sauce. So I do keep it on me. This is the Evolve Together hand sanitizer. It's like 
when you're a secret agent. And it smells good. It's dry on airplanes. I have a hand lotion. And then chapsticks is what gets a little scary. I don't know how to show you this properly. There's more. It doesn't matter what the occasion is, I have them all on me. And they're all delicious and divine and fantastic. I mean, like, look how cute this one is. I feel like I just always have chapped lips when I travel. It's probably because I don't drink enough water. Should I carry a water bottle? Probably. Because of this, I always have a million products to pick from, whether it's like little lip oils or little glosses or little chapsticks or little night masks. This is how my lips survive travel days. They're still struggling, but we do our best. I probably lost them down there. Too. <laughs> It's another Evolve Together one. I always like fresh skin on a flight day. I usually don't wear any makeup. I just love like a nice oiled face. So I'll usually do face wash, moisturizer, and then a nice little extra hydration with an oil on top. I normally fly wearing a hat, so it's a low-key day. And all of us are just trying to get a good nap on this flight anyway. I've had to take a flight and land and immediately have my hair and makeup done to go right to an event. I do my makeup on the airplane and I didn't have a mirror. So we're still wondering what that looked like, but everyone who was at the event knows. So if anybody could send me a picture, that'd be great. I feel like airplane food can be very good. One, I'm not gonna diss airplane food because when I went to Paris, I feel like some of them were actually kind of fire. I've had like gnocchi and I feel like that's not something I would normally find on a flight and I love pasta. So if there's pasta options, I'm probably gonna be just fine. I normally fly Delta, so I feel like they do like really good snacks, but I'm also very guilty of going to the lounge right before my flight and stuffing my bag. I'll be honest, the hand lotion. It's always on me, but I don't know if I ever put it on an airplane. But it's just in case. Like, what if my knuckles get like a little dry and then I'm gonna be wishing I had it? I also probably won't put a lip gloss on on the flight, but it's always in the bag. It'll come in handy later. It's the principle of having it on me. I like to think that I'm the queen of the carry-on, self-proclaimed. No one's ever called me that, but I can fit everything. I just went on a trip where I did LA to Paris, to Michigan, to Paris, to Michigan, to Texas, back to LA. It was a total of three weeks and I fit it all in my two carry-ons. I'm talking, I had two pairs of shoes on me, and I feel like that's pretty impressive to have that all, including like laptops, technology, multiple cameras. I always pack my big things first and then stuff the empty spaces. Take your socks, stuff your shoes with your socks. Roll your jeans, that's a secret. Good lighting, window seats hands down. I mean, like if you wanna be like on the road, it's a window seat. I do always have cameras on me. So normally I can do like a little tripod setup, but sometimes it gets a little embarrassing. I wanna keep it low key. So natural lighting's always the way to go on a flight. The deodorant, probably the deodorant. It's cause of the multiple applications, I can't help it. Probably a camera. I love to capture the memories. I love having it on me and you'd be surprised how often the camera gets used. It's my way of remembering how wonderful all these trips are that I get to go on. I'd be very sad if I forgot that. I think your natural glowing skin is the best look, no matter what. Your confidence is your best beauty secret and just doing what makes you feel the most comfortable and most confident is the ultimate beauty tip. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I'm Anna, you can follow me at AnnaXSitar on all social channels. I look forward to seeing you soon or on our next flight. Bye.